This is episode 39 of the Just Ask Joey podcast. And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, ah. And we was like, what? Just ask Joey. Hello, and welcome to Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over your idiocy. Today's episode is just about you having a good day. Sometimes you need a little boost to help you kind of get through it. Sometimes you need a boost to help you start it. And it could be just overall energy level, but it can also be mood. It could be in a kind of a funky mood, kind of a blah, kind of whatevs, kind of a mood. And this will help you get out of it also. And you're going to have days where you're tired. You're going to have days where you're not feeling so hot. You're going to have days where you're a little depressed. Like it's just going to happen. But the idea is to set yourself up and to have things in place to either minimize them happening or minimize them, minimize like the time that they take out of your day. Because the more you feel like crap, whether it's depression or energy level, the worse your day is going to be. And nobody needs to have a bad day, right? Unless you want to. Unless you're one of those people that likes having a bad day and likes complaining about it. I am not that type of person. So call it a life hack sort of a thing. But it's extremely effective. It's something that I use twice a day. It is not a drug. It is not something weird or crazy or some pill or anything like that. It is a cold shower. That's it. A cold shower for 60 seconds will completely change your day. Now, I said I used it twice a day. I use it in the morning when I get up before I get my day started. Could be after a run. Um, Even if I'm not running, I got some meeting or something I have to do first thing in the morning, jump in the cold shower. It, It just activates everything and makes you feel amazing. I also use it uh, after I work out in the afternoons. The afternoon workout, depending on how hot I am, I'll either jump in and just do just a cold shower, so it's like five, six minutes of a cold shower, or I'll end my warm shower with with a cold like 60 seconds or, or, or 120 seconds, or the best thing to do is just to go back and forth, and I'll explain all that stuff in just a second. What are the benefits, like why, why a cold shower? Out of all the things you can do, why a cold shower? Well, there's there's three things that I'm going to focus on, and then I'm going to list off a whole bunch of other benefits from taking a cold shower at the end. So the three main benefits of taking a cold shower are it makes you happy, and I will explain. Two, it increases your blood flow, which has a whole bunch of other health benefits. And three, it's like a reset button on your day. And that's what we need right here, right? A reset button, energy, mood, reset, start over again, cold shower is the way to do it. Okay, so so the first thing, it will make you happy. How the hell is a cold shower going to make you happy? It's going to make you cold. And it's going to make you uncomfortable, right? At first, and this is something you got to get used to, but once you start doing it, I swear to God, with all the benefits that this, that this gives you, you're going to take more cold showers than you ever thought in your life. Even if you're somebody that hates cold showers, they have a ton of benefits. So how a cold shower makes you happy, it releases endorphins. What do endorphins do? They make you happy. The So think about it this way. So endorphins are pretty much the thing that people get addicted to when they take all kinds of weird drugs and stuff. So not that you're like this, but just in case you take heroin, you occasionally sip on the scissor and the codeine. Maybe you dabble in morphine, which holy crap. Or maybe you're into like the Oxycontin thing. Well, what do those do? Those release endorphins into your system. Endorphins kind of, they, they're like a pain blocker. So they, they make you feel happy. You can release endorphins similar to all these crazy drugs and you're not going to lose your job or your house or your family or anything else. Your life won't fall apart. Just with a cold shower, releases endorphins. Sounds like a pretty good trade-off to me. Uh, number two, It increases your blood flow. Why? Because when your body is cold, like you're going to be cold in this shower, it it redirects blood flow to your organs. Why is it redirecting blood flow to your organs? Because it thinks you're dying. 
surprise, you're not really dying. You're just in a cold shower. So it, 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 it takes blood flow from where it's going, goes to your vital organs. Your heart's going to be pumping more efficiently. You're going to be getting blood flow to your vital organs better, you know, because it's going to be shutting down other places and sending it to where you need it the most for survival. You're basically turning on your fight or flight response. So you get more blood flow to the to the vital organs. Your your heart's more, working more efficiently. Your blood's pumping harder. You're increasing your heart rate. You're increasing your blood pressure. Every and everything's going towards like good stuff. It's not you're not freaking out really. It's it's short term. Remember, we're only talking like a minute, maybe two minutes here. So increase blood flow, increase blood pressure. Your when when that happens, the oxygen in your blood is getting to all the systems in your body which is good, pushing around the nutrients and stuff in your body, all that stuff is getting pushed through more efficiently. So your body, the important parts of your body are getting those things better at a higher rate. Uh, when you have increased circulation, it's just better for your body. I understand that some of you guys work out. I work out too, but why not, you know, which is also increasing your body and does kind of similar stuff, but why not just double up on it? You know, why not be as healthy as possible and have like the best circulation that you can? I use whether I work out or not. And I feel amazing afterwards. So this increased blood flow will help you with your fatigue level, with potential headaches, high blood pressure, because it all will regulate. And extreme cases, you know, like heart attacks and strokes. So you should work out also because that also helps with heart attacks and strokes. But cold showers will help, this, will help the same thing because it will increase your blood flow. So we're, we're happier. We're healthier just with the cold showers. So number three the reset button. When I think of a reset button, I think of old school Nintendo. I'm dating myself here. I'm thinking like 1987. I'm playing a game. Maybe my buddy's over. I'm losing. I don't want to lose anymore. Reset. Never really went over very well with the person that was winning, but hey man, once you press it, it is what it is. It's done, man. I'm sorry I'm a sore loser, but it happens. So think about this as like the reset button for your day. Now, I use it to start my day also, but I know that if I'm in a funky mood, and it's going to happen, that I can jump in the shower, and it's one of the things that I use to help kind of flip the day around. You know, I use working out, meditation, cold showers. Those are kind of like my go-tos that I use every single day, but if... Maybe it didn't work as well and I get into like a little funk later in the day. I'll drop it in the middle of the day where I don't normally do it. And this is not, I don't want to bring up the Nintendo thing thinking that there's any shame in hitting your reset button. You're smart if you want to reset your button. If you're having a bad day, if it's lunchtime and you don't feel good and you're like, oh man, today sucks. I still got X many hours left to go, blah, 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 whatever. You're smart to want to hit the reset button. Find a shower, get in it, reset your day. So what happens is, how it how it's like a reset button and this and this is really kind of the start of all the other activations that it's doing so this is kind of the beginning of the getting happier the increased circulation all that stuff there's this this reset button or if you start if you use it at the beginning of the day this is like your power button so so cold showers are they're resetting think of it like resetting your nervous system so what 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 the cold shower does is it shocks your body so it's going to activate your autonomous nervous system, which is your fight or flight, which is your your body thinks you're dying or you could die, you're freaking out, that kind of a thing. So it starts that, but because you're not really dying, you get out of the shower a minute later, 60 seconds later, your parasympathetic system kicks in. It then relaxes your nervous system. You're not in fight or flight anymore. The increased blood flow, the calmness, the resetting of the heart rate, the resetting of the blood pressure, all those things. It's it's a reset button. It's old school Nintendo. All right. You know, you had those games playing Tech Mobile. You know, you had those games playing Bases Loaded. Super Mario wasn't working right. Contra. Mike Tyson. Come on. You guys have been there or you haven't. But you guys have reset the button on your other video games. Don't lie. I know you guys. So those are the three main benefits. Those are the benefits of starting your day over. Those are or starting your day. That's why I use it in the morning because it's great. But the other benefit is the cold shower. And I'm not going to get into it just because we'll be here all day. And we don't want that. We got stuff to do. So not only does it recharge your body, not only does it change your mood by releasing endorphins into your system, it tightens your skin. 
that's good when you're getting older, you know, late 30s. I could use a little tighter skin. Um, it pushes toxins out of your body because when you're cold, your body constricts pushing the toxins out. That's why it's kind of good to, uh, if you're going to use it after a workout or if you're going to use it at all, really, if you go back and forth between hot and cold showers, it constricts, loosens up, constricts, loosens up, and that really helps push all the toxins and stuff out of your system. So you get less crap in your system. Might be really good after maybe a long weekend, maybe a rough Friday night, you know what I'm saying? Activates fat burning because the cold water, especially if you use it on uh, on your armpits, back of your neck, it activates burning brown fat and brown fat burns for a long time. So, hey man, everybody can use this a little less fat, right? So this cold shower does that also. For dudes and for chicks, it increases testosterone, obviously for guys, and increases fertility for women. So there's another big plus there. If you're trying to have a kid, you know, I, this is not recommended for anybody who's already pregnant because it does shock your system and you got a little baby to take care of. So if you're trying to get pregnant, this works. If you're already pregnant, please stop doing it. Um, it improves hair and skin, tightening the skin, tightening the pores, lets less crap in, hot water damages hair. So you avoid that. So if you're into this skin and hair thing, you know, it's tightening also make you look a little better too, but these are just all kinds of other benefits. And it, it increases your immunity because when your blood's flowing better, you have oxygen going through your body, your nervous system, your heart rate, everything is clicking and tight and feels strong. You're not going to get sick as much. I know people go, oh, if I jump in the shower, I'm gonna, if I get in the shower and it's really cold, I'm going to get sick. You're not going to get sick. This actually helps do that because it constrict the stuff out. There's actually people in uh, obviously northern countries in Europe use it as a remedy to get over being sick because when you jump in something freaking cold your body constricts there's no place for the sickness and all that stuff to go and it pushes it out so something to think about also i think that pretty much covers it so this is 60 seconds that can change your whole day or start your day out awesome again i use it in the morning and i use it after my workout ends you usually like five or five thirty, maybe six that's when i use it at the end of the day so if you guys have any questions about this or Anything else in any of the other 38 episodes, please hit me up on Snapchat. One thing about Snapchat, um, I don't want to say I appreciate you guys sending me inappropriate pictures of yourselves because that's, I don't, I don't, I don't, that's not my thing. But, uh, so please stop. I don't know if I'm flattered you're sending me that crap or whatever. Um, but yeah, please, please stop. Please keep the keep it keep it clean. All right, you got questions? I want to spend time on Snapchat, um, answering questions, helping you guys, getting questions for this podcast and for this vlog. I don't need to waste time uh, clicking through uh, boobies and wieners and butts and stuff. It's really not how I need to spend my day. So hit me up on Snapchat. Please be clean on it, please. Instagram, Facebook. Comments here. However, however you find me, I'm there. And I uh, hope you guys have a great week. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Go, go, go.